For 20 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. The warmest weather of the year arrives tomorrow. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're going to see highs mainly in the mid to upper 80s. We'll see lower 90s on Saturday. We'll cool down a little bit on Sunday. We'll warm up again on Monday and then turn slightly cooler for Tuesday and Wednesday before more heat and humidity pushes in by next weekend. Well, highs earlier today were in the mid to upper 70s, but now temperatures have dropped off 60s to around 70 thanks to abundant cloud cover and a little bit of rain. Here's a look out of our Green Bay Tower Cam. It shows cloudy skies. It is 70 degrees with southeast winds at around 10 miles per hour. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows this large area of light rain moving across central and eastern Wisconsin. Right now, north and east of Appleton, it is cloudy with a few sprinkles and showers, but then we get into that steadier rainfall. And then behind that, not a whole lot going on, but a couple of thunderstorms are trying to develop here from northern Illinois back into southeastern Minnesota. And there will be a chance for a couple of thunderstorms throughout the late evening and overnight hours as a warm front pushes in from the south. And this warm front is going to be our main weather maker throughout the night into tomorrow. On the other side of it, it is turning very warm to hot. Temperatures this afternoon made it up into the 90s across much of Missouri, Kansas, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. And that heat is going to be lifting north. And it'll be here starting tomorrow, but really on Saturday. Now, so far this year, we have had zero days with high temperatures in the 90s. It looks like that will be changing on Saturday. Maybe for a couple of us tomorrow, but more than likely most of us by Saturday afternoon. You can expect highs tomorrow to be in the mid to upper 80s. And then as we head into Saturday afternoon, temperatures will soar up into the lower 90s. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a couple of mid 90s here west of Lake Winnebago. Precision cast is showing 90. But typically in this type of scenario, Wapaka and Watoma are about five degrees warmer than that. So uh, it's going to be hot and it's also going to be humid. Dew points are going to be climbing up the chart as well. We will be looking at dew points getting up into the 70s by Saturday afternoon. And that means heat index values will be right around 100 degrees or just a little bit above that. So this evening, some light rain and showers. Then take a look at what Precision Cast is doing by midnight. It's showing a few showers and thunderstorms across the area. That's all ahead of the warm front, which will be making its way across northeast Wisconsin as we head through the morning. It'll be north of us by afternoon. We'll break into a lot of sunshine. And then tomorrow night, we could be looking at another cluster of thunderstorms moving in from the north and west. We'll have to watch that closely if it develops. It could be strong to severe. Then we'll get a break in the action for much of Saturday. But then additional thunderstorms are likely as we head into Saturday evening and Saturday night. And once again, there is a slight risk for organized severe weather across most of the viewing area for that time frame. And yes, we could be looking at some thunderstorms at Lambeau Field uh, as the event uh, continues on into the late evening hours. So obviously we're going to keep a close eye on that. So tonight showers and a couple of thunderstorms. Lows will be in the mid 60s. It's going to be muggy tomorrow morning clouds and maybe a lingering shower or a storm as that warm front lifts north. Then lots of sunshine, warm and humid. Temperatures will be climbing up into the upper 80s, but heat index values will make it feel more like the lower 90s. 91 on Saturday, a chance for some storms early, then a break, and then more thunderstorms in the evening. That's ahead of a cold front. Behind the cold front, cooling down with lots of sunshine on Sunday. Warm on Monday, another system kicks off a few storms on Tuesday. We'll cool down on Wednesday with northeast winds, probably 70s to around 80, before another batch of heat and humidity returns by next weekend. And of course, that also equals a chance for some thunderstorms. That Saturday forecast isn't looking too great for everybody in the bowl. No, well, Hall of Fame well hopefully everything holds off until after the festivities are over, but there's a chance we could be looking at thunderstorms across the area and some could be severe. Hopefully not severe enough that they have to evacuate or anything. We're uh, still too early yeah, to tell. Yeah, way, way, way too early <laughs> to worry about that. But, you know, if there's a lot of lightning, they will clear, clear the bowl, yeah. even well, without severe weather. Hopefully it all holds off, and it'll be a beautiful, warm day. Fingers We've crossed. We've been waiting for that 90 for a long time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, thanks, Cameron. Yep.